Page 22, the Boogie Woogie Band. It's a fun piece. About a page and a half long, treble and bass clef, 4-4 four, four time signature. Uh, we got a lot of quarter notes and half notes, and we have some accidentals to deal with. So I'm going to take it what right hand first to make sure I understand what the right hand is doing. You're up here, so we're in this position. Quarter note. One, rest, 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 rest. Okay, and then the next page, or the pickup to the next page, would be the last note on page 22. It's here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Rest. Okay, that's about all the right hand is doing. Left hand, well, it's got some interesting things going on. You're starting out with a down here, and some rests, and then rest, rest, rest. And you have this Alberti bass pattern. It's here, and then the C sharp. We're going to use second finger because second finger's on C, and so I'm going to do that. And this is what the left hand is doing throughout the most of the rest of this, this pattern. And again, I'm just transferring weight from finger to finger. So actually, it kind of looks like this, because the little finger to the thumb to the index finger, I'm still doing that. I'm just lowering which finger I want the weight on. You can leave the index finger on that note, because that's all it's doing is C sharp. Put the hands together, what the beginning is just this. Rest, 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 rest. At the end of the line, they'll pick up to the next one. You're here, here. And this is where it gets tricky, because now you're using different fingers. So just go really, really slow. Top of page 23, you're here, and here. Here. Just work it out really, really slow. I, I still go a little fast, but you take it at your speed. Then go back through it all and make sure there's no hesitations anywhere. Now I think about the articulation, which they don't give you anything for articulation, which means it's entirely up to you. I would suggest for now, connect everything you can pretty much, except for the rest you have to lift up. Then the dynamics. Forte, loud, and this is going to apply to the right hand here. That's what we want to hear. Even on the set, uh, third and fourth measures there, it's the right hand we want to hear. Just because you're playing the same note name in the left hand doesn't make it melody. It's still harmony, it's just in the background. And here, in the second line, this is not loud here. This Keep this down. Just get about a moderately soft to moderately loud. But then at the end of the line, when the, mel when the melody comes in, that's loud. Don't let this overpower it. And that's a bit of a problem because when you get busy like this, you'll tend to want to play that out. You'll just naturally play it louder. And before you know it, it's, a, it's as loud or louder than the right hand. It's overpowered it. I've, I've heard a whole lot of people perform that way. They start out okay and then it gradually gets louder and louder in the background. Make an effort to keep that left hand soft. And this is loud. All the way through, this is soft. Keep it down. Even the last two measures at the bottom, loud, soft. You want to hear the right hand. That's the melody. Then the, the uh, speed. Well, it has to be accurate. Don't go faster than that. It's, it's sort of fast. Oh. Again, remember the natural accents. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. So don't go faster than that accurate. Everybody will play at a little different speed, and that's okay. Now, they've also got a note at the bottom of this that you can play the rhythm long, short, long, short if you want. 
So if we want to do that, we just think long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Page 23. Now that slows you down because if you go too fast, the short notes are too short. Uh, no, we don't want that. It has to feel like a swing here. So you got to slow it down a little bit. See, when you start playing long, short, long, short, now you're limiting to how fast or slow you can go. It, it's got to be. A comfortable swing. Somewhere in there. If you want. Don't have to. You can play them straight if you prefer. that if you're going to perform it, you can keep repeating it to make it last longer than it does. And they say if you do repeat it, go back and play the, the last line on page 22 again, but leave out that quarter note in the right hand. So at the end of page 23, I'm here. I lift up and then I'd repeat back. I just left handled by itself. Because the quarter note in the right hand is finishing up what the first line was doing. And since we're not playing the first line, we don't want that quarter note. So we're just left hand. If you choose to repeat, it's up to you. I'm not going to repeat in this lesson, but if you choose to do that, it makes it a little longer. Let's play this together very slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. I'll give us four counts. I'm not going to do any dynamics. I'm going to play both hands about the same. You just Are you playing the same note I'm playing at the same time I'm playing it? That's all this is for. Now for the purpose of this play with me, in order to stay with a metronome, I'm going to go ahead and play the rhythm straight. I'm not going to do long shorts. I'm just going to do regular beats. It makes it easier to stay with a metronome that way. So I'll give us four counts. So let's try this together. One, two, ready, go. Just... 